Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 21 video and another episode of Wheel of Franchise. And we're here to simulate these three players and hopefully get some training or ups on them. And Darius Slayton is right now an 84 overall. Hopefully I can get him to an 85 so that way he gets his second superstar ability. I believe that will come soon. I don't know quite yet, but hopefully it does come soon as he will get a second superstar ability as we got blown out by the Panthers and Colin Kaepernick. 30-6 to six last week. It was very disappointing. But anyways, we have a lot of positions of need here on this team. So apart from that, boys, it is time to jump into the wheel spins. So our first wheel spin of the day is going to be... Plus two defensive back man coverage. I like running man a little bit more than zone depending on what the team's receivers are. And number two is plus two tight end catch in traffic. And the third and final wheel spin of the day is going to be plus two guard pass blocking. Okay, that's interesting. So now we're upgrading Marshawn Lattimore's man coverage from an 89 to a 91. And now we're upgrading Darren Waller's catch and traffic from an 80 to an 82. And now upgrading our left guard Bradley Bozeman's pass blocking from a 70 to a 72. So that helps us a little bit. But our opponent's team is Josh Allen at QB. Marlon Mack, who's injured, so they're going to have to rock with Carlos Hyde. Fullback doesn't matter. Wide receivers, Tyree Kill, Julian Edelman, and Anthony Miller. That is a dangerous wide receiver core, so we're probably going to have to play a lot of zone coverage today. They got Jordan Reed, and uh, their O-line is looking pretty bad so far. Um, it looks like the right tackle is their only good thing, but they got Adrian Claiborne, Jordan Phillips, Michael Pierce, who's injured, and Damian Harris Sr., Rashawn Gary, Roquan Smith, Bradley Chubb, Casey Hayward Jr., James Bradbury, Levi Wallace, Justin Simmons, and Jaquiski Tart. So defense doesn't look too insane, but I would say it's overall pretty average, but the receiving core is definitely going to be dangerous, so we're going to have to play a lot of zone coverage today. And now we are going to spin the challenge wheel, and this challenge wheel is going to provide us with get a safety. That's going to be really hard, that opportunity opportunity kind of has to present itself but Dion Lewis is going to get the first snap and the first highlight as he gets um I think that's 10 yards but still first down now we're looking for Darius Slayton on the slant right here and they're playing zone coverage so that's gonna be an easy first down a little bit more great effort by Darius Slayton to get all the way down to the three yard line against the Rams and now that's a quick easy slant to Darius Slayton that's going to be a touchdown six nothing at home the Buccaneers are up and now we're going to send the house here, and Carlos Hyde is shut down in the backfield. That's minus two, tackle for a loss. And then now we're sending the house again, but it is a play action, and he's going to have Tyreek Hill on that deep in there. Thankfully, we tackled him, so that way he couldn't get more rack yards. Now we're sending a blitz again. Carlos Hyde gets shut down by Quan Alexander. As it is still the Rams football. And Josh Allen's got time. But he also gets sacked. He fumbles. But of course the Rams also pick it up. But that's still a sack. A tackle for a loss. And a forced fumble. So pretty good play by us. And now we're sending a blitz. And Quan Alexander. I get in there with my user. And sack Josh Allen. And now... He's got a little bit of time, a little bit too much time. Can somebody please get to him? They do. He fumbles once again. And Markel Lee, go, Markel Lee. Let's go. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, fumble six, Markel Lee. Second string middle linebacker, I think it is. <laughs> And now we're playing more zone coverage because we kind of have to. But it doesn't seem to matter as their tight end definitely gets a first down. And now late in the second quarter, and they're going to dump it off in a huge hit stick. Get that. We got the fumble, and we got their second turnover for L.A. Here we are back on offense as Darius Slayton is on the slant. We're looking for him. Can we get that? We fit that in there. Great effort and great hustle. Darius Slayton. Now one looking for Darius Slayton. We got that easy route, easy first down, a little bit more for Darius Slayton. And now once again looking for him again. Can he get there? And that's going to be a pass interference. That's going to be on James Bradbury. Definitely a first down on the two-yard line, I'd say. With only five seconds left, hopefully we can get this touchdown. 
And once again, looking for Darius Slayton. And we got him. Another easy touchdown for Darius Slayton. His second of the day. Good job. And now Josh Allen is going to take the snap in the third quarter and easily over the top to Julian Edelman. It was actually a pretty tight window, but either way, first down, Rams. And now Josh Allen once again looking for something. And that's a pick by Eli Apple. Whoa, what was that tackle? I don't know how Tyree Kill did that. I'm going to need to see a replay. And this is the replay of it. That I'm not complaining about the pick. I'm cl complaining about how it should have been a pick six. So he picks it. Terry Kill is on the ground, and then he's like, nope, levitate. Let's just get up and tackle him because I don't want you to get a pick six. Yeah, that's definitely scripted. So it's now fourth down alert, and I don't want Eli Apple's pick to go to waste, and that's Darren Waller. Easy, secure catch. First down for the Buccaneers. And now looking for someone on these slants. Deontay Harris may look like he's open. Can I get that great way to hold on by Deontay Harris? I'm surprised. But still, we're going to be looking for something else here. Uh, we're going to get sacked. Okay. Um, we go down to a dude named Gary. I, I have no idea who that dude is. Still, we're going to take our field goal here as it is now 24 to nothing as we are shutting out the Rams in the third quarter. And now we are looking for... Ooh, is that is that there? Is that there? No, it's a pass interference. Let's go, baby. James Bradbury once again pass interference late in the third quarter against us. And now we're once again going to look for Darius Slayton because it's just too easy to do this in the red zone. Wow, their defensive backs just cannot keep up with Darius Slayton. He's too much of a god. His third touchdown on the night. And now 31 to nothing against the Rams. They have all the time in the world. And they're going to get it off to Tyree Kill. A huge hit on Tyree Kill as well. And now, once again, Josh Allen looking for something. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Julian Edelman deserves that touchdown. Two amazing jukes. That was actually really, really clean. And now we're going to do a little halfback wham and try to run down this clock with Dion Lewis as he's going to take it up the middle. And that's going to be a first down for Dion Lewis and maybe even a little bit more. So now we got a big brain play this here and we're going to fake field goal Justin Tucker because they're not going to be expecting it. And there it is. We don't need the points anyways, but we got it. Touchdown Darren Waller, Justin Tucker's, I believe his first touchdown of his career. I might not be 100% on that, but still touchdown Bucks. And now Josh Allen's looking to take the snap as it is 7-238. Only a minute left in this game. This game is definitely over. See if they can put something together. They got a tight end over the middle. A big, big hit stick, though. And now they're looking for something else as well. Can Josh Allen get He's it? And that's going to be... Oh, you know okay, that. I missed the tackle. But still, 14 to, what, 38? The game's definitely over. So we blew out the Rams completely. They didn't score until the fourth quarter. A, th a first three-quarter shutout game. Very, very good performance by us. They had more passing yards, which is very interesting. But still, that is going to do it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed because I know I did. As we are going to be going to the Chiefs, actually. We're actually going to be staying at home, playing it at home against the Kansas City Chiefs next episode. And the Kansas City Chiefs record is 3-7, and seven, so hopefully they don't have that great of a team. But we apparently got a weekly award in Darius Slayton with three rece receiving touchdowns and 89 yards and seven receptions. So pretty amazing game for Darius Slayton. But apart from that, guys... That will be it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.